Hey everyone, welcome back to Stay Tuned Reviews, a place where you can kick back, relax, and hear my honest thoughts on TV shows, movies, and other things. I'll be dropping a ton of new content over the next few weeks, so feel free to subscribe to my channel so you'll get the notifications for my reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing the movie Soul, as seen on Disney+. Ever since this past summer, when I first saw the trailer for Soul, it gained my interest for a number of reasons. First, it was an animated movie with a diverse cast. Second, it was a movie that was heavily influenced by jazz music, and that resonated with me because I used to play in the jazz band many years ago. And lastly, the movie was named Soul, and I was interested in seeing how the movie would utilize the word in its storytelling. So without further delay, I will be sharing my thoughts on the movie Soul. For the purposes of this review, I will be going over what I liked and disliked about the movie. And I will also share whether I think you might enjoy seeing it as well. Let me just say that the animation throughout this movie can only be described as eye candy. I love the uniqueness of the human characters throughout the movie, and I also like the creative approach that the animators use in creating the souls in the great before. The movie Soul features an all-star acting lineup, which includes Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey, Felissa Rashad, Angela Bassett, and other famous talent. Although this movie is an animated film, this group of actors did a fantastic job at bringing their animated characters to life. Jamie Foxx and Tina Fey are also a dynamic duo in this movie. Soul focuses on a character named Joe Gardner, played by Jamie Foxx. Joe is a middle-aged music teacher with dreams of making it big. One day, after receiving the opportunity of a lifetime, Joe has an accident which causes his soul to leave his body and transition to the afterlife. It is during this time when Joe meets a character named 22, played by Tina Fey. I won't give away too much about the plot, but I loved how the movie touched on the themes of having a purpose in life, not taking life for granted, and becoming an inspiration to others. I also love the genius of how the movie focused on the concept of a person's soul. If I could compare this movie to anything, I would say that the portion of the movie that features the great before is like the animated movie Inside Out. I loved how Soul was able to balance out moments of comedy and drama, even in a movie that deals with the afterlife. There are a number of emotional scenes in this movie that may surely create a spark when it comes to watching it. Now how could I forget to talk about the music in this movie? Soul has a number of great jazz songs that are played throughout the movie. If you're a big jazz fan, you'll be happy to hear how Soul honors the musical genre. If you're not a jazz fan, you might be closer to being one after seeing this film. The runtime for the movie Soul clocks around an hour and 40 minutes long. There were some parts of the movie that dragged and impacted the pacing for me. In my opinion, the movie could have cut five to 10 minutes from the story and it would not have impacted the overall experience of seeing it. Even with the minor flaws, Soul is a visually stunning animated film with an amazing story to tell. However, it is my opinion that the movie might go over the heads of some of the younger people, especially kids, that go to see it for the first time. I would still recommend this movie as a must-see. Thanks again for watching this review. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like or comment below, and I promise to keep the content coming. Until next time, stay safe and stay tuned.